Think. Act. <laughs> and prosper. You are now tuned into the Money Level Show. I am your host, Daryl Thomas, and today I am coming with a series called the Back to Basics. In this series, we discuss basic concepts of money, management, and investing. When I started this channel, I wanted to reach the people that needed the basics. However, as I grew in my journey, I began to get sucked into more complicated financial topics. So we're here to bring a money management series. The first topic we are going to talk about is three reasons why having a budget can help you become financially free. Now, everyone's financial journey is different, so feel free to pick out and apply what works for you in this video. Having a budget is crucial to achieving your goals. By setting clear objectives, such as saving up for a house, emergency fund, or college fund, you can use your budget to support these aspirations. Without a budget, you may struggle to reach your goals or take longer than expected. This delay can ultimately prevent you from accomplishing your desired outcomes within the time frame you've set. Therefore, it is essential to have a budget to ensure you stay on track and achieve your goals effectively. Another reason to have a budget is to keep track of all your expenses. It is vital to understand where your money is being spent. When you're unaware of your spending habits, you might unknowingly overspend on unnecessary things. Knowing where your money is going is helpful in reducing money spent in areas where you can live without. This allows for you to allocate money to places you'd rather spend that money towards. The final reason for having a budget is to have self-discipline. If you find yourself spending money you don't have or coming up short on business, Bills you have to pay, self-discipline is key. There's a famous saying, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. This is important when it comes to executing your strategy to accomplish your goals. Envision yourself going on a dream vacation, leaving your kids an inheritance, paying off that last student loan, or whatever your goal may be. Now, wouldn't it feel good to get to the place you are going? Having a plan and having a discipline to carry out that plan will help you get there for sure. Now, one trap to avoid is spending your future income. People often desire things they cannot afford or end up opting for payment methods like credit cards, buy now, pay later offers, and other such schemes. However, this can lead to a situation where you end up spending your future income. For instance, if you're trying to save for a vacation or pay off debts, you may end up using the money you could have saved towards these goals to pay for something you cannot afford right now. Therefore, it is important to manage your income wisely. I have personally experienced this trap and have realized that it is not worth it. I had to spend money on something that I could not afford and ended up using a significant portion of my future income to pay for it. It was a lesson learned and now I make sure that I only spend what I can afford in the present. Now, these are important things that you want to consider when you're making a budget. There are many free resources out there. I personally use the Every Dollar app that was created by Dave Ramsey. This is a free tool and you can also sign up for the premium account. I am not sponsored by Every Dollar or Dave Ramsey, but that is a tool that I use. So to recap, you want to set goals for your money. You want to track where your money is being spent. And then you want to have the self-discipline to carry out your budget. And the additional tip is that you want to avoid spending your future income because this can be a trap. So I hope this was helpful for you all. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. I thank you all for tuning in to the channel today. I hope that you all have a blessed day and get on your budget, figure out your goals and plan how you want to live your life so that you can be financially free. Thank you all for listening.